Hi everyone. A lot of people ask me about my chin rest. What kind of chin rest is that? What kind of chin rest do you use? Well, today I'm going to explain a little bit about my setup on the viola and why I use what I use. So, let me show you what most people use first. Most of the time when you get a new viola and they send them to you or you pick it up at the store, they come with this chin rest which is called a Guarneri style chin rest. It goes over the tailpiece and then it has the cup over here. So when I put my chin on it and my jaw, you can see that I'm a little bit here to the left of the tailpiece because everything centers around right here and it's relatively flat. I have a jaw here, so when my jaw sits in there, I have to lean my head into it. And right now you can see I am not using a shoulder rest. So when I put my head down, my head goes down into there and my viola is relatively on this side with my chin and my jaw. So. You can see that I have my jaw right here and my shoulder that's about this big, but when I hold my instrument up like this, you can see that I have a lot of room left over. So I have this much space that I need to fill. So when I go like this, my head kind of comes down this way and I'm leaning forward. So you can see from the side. So I'm a little scrunchy like this, although I'm, at the moment I'm not using a shoulder rest. So I have to spend considerable effort holding the instrument this way. So they invented a shoulder rest. Today I'm going to use one of these shoulder rests, which is just a normal shoulder rest, but as you can see, it's relatively high. So I'm going to put it on my instrument. And that's right there is going to add a whole bunch of room on the instrument that can fit under my jaw. So then it looks like this when I hold the instrument. But there's a problem. The problem is, is that generally when I'm playing, my instrument is low, so it sits right here on my shoulder. And when I put the shoulder rest on, the instrument lifts off my shoulder so it's actually higher, which means that my bowing has, my bow arm has to go higher to accommodate the viola. So what is a solution? The real solution to me is to use a higher chin rest. So that will take up the space between my jaw and my shoulder. It'll take up that space and yet it will let me play with my instrument lower to my shoulder like that so that my bow can go lower and I can apply more weight onto the string, which is exactly what we want. So now I'm going to switch my chin rest and show you what the difference there looks like. This chin rest, which is made by Frisch and Denig, is a brand chin rest. It has a little bit of a lip over there to grab my jaw right here. So I find the end of my jaw over here and then I find the lip and I match my jaw to that lip. That puts my instrument more to this side so that my head is really straight over the tailpiece so I can get a different view of the instrument. You can see that the height of the chin rest is much higher and that gives me a very large area right there which really matches that area between my jaw and my shoulder. So it fills in the space and that's exactly what we want a chin rest or a shoulder rest to do. But in this case, you can see that again, there's no shoulder rest that I'm using, but this, so the instrument can sit nice and low to my shoulder, which means my bow can go lower, but I have a lot of space here covered so that my, I can easily put my jaw right on that chin rest there. 
so it's much com more comfortable to play. If I let go with my left hand, the instrument still stays up, but I feel a little bit of pressure. So all I do is I put a little bit of a pad, so I use a red cosmetic sponge, which costs about two or three dollars on Amazon. I think it's six dollars for two of them. And I put it there with a rubber band, and all it does, it's about, about that thick. Let me go get one. It's nice and thin. It looks really like not much to it, but it is because it's nice and soft and it kind of tacky, so it just keeps the instrument on top of my shoulder because it doesn't move. So I'm gonna put that on with the rubber band. Like so. Very simple. Then when I put my instrument up, it stays on my shoulder very easily. You can see that I don't have my hands on there. It just stays right up there. Nice and high. I've got all the space covered. And as an added bonus, you can see if I turn to the side, that my neck is nice and straight. So when I take the instrument away, this is the most important part of a viola setup or a violin setup. When I take the instrument away, that my head is just normal. So I'm just talking to you like normally. When my viola goes up, I don't have to contort my head around like this, like I do with other, with other chin rests and shoulder rests. The viola just sits on my shoulder. My jaw grabs that little lip on that, on that chin rest. And that's it. So I'm very natural here. And then when I play, my arm can go nice and low because the instrument is at its lowest from my shoulder. And I get the ultimate feeling on the instrument, which does completely improve my sound. Well, I know this was a short video and it really doesn't go into great detail, but I hope it just helps you to get thinking about your setup. Should you use a shoulder rest? Should you not use a shoulder rest? What kind of chin rest should you use? I recommend if you use a shoulder rest to use a very low one, but to put the height on the chin rest, not from the shoulder rest. So yes, you can use a shoulder rest with this, but more importantly is that you fill up a space by using a higher chin rest. This again is made by Frisch and Denig. I love their product. It's beautiful looking and it has this little lip here. If you have any questions, just write to me below. The reason I'm making this video is because a lot of you have questions about what kind of chin rest do you use or what kind of chin rest should I use? And so I thought I would answer that by kind of giving a general assessment of what I do when I'm playing my instrument. So until next time, happy practicing, and I hope that you find great comfort with your instrument.